Hello there, my name is Sixo, but more on that later, as now it's time to check out this little troublemaker. Here we have Devil Savior Smash, which is a follow-up to their previous figure, Split, and is the next part needed for combining a movie masterpiece-style Devastator. Right, let's get smashed. DS04 Smash is the latest release from third-party outfit Devil Savior, and sees them tackling another character in their series of Revenge of the Fallen Constructicons. It's Long Haul. This is one of the more memorable Constructicon designs from the big screen, with a recognizable robot form and a big green dump truck for the vehicle mode, something he shares with his Generation 1 namesake. Long Haul is first seen in Revenge of the Fall in the border sea freighter with the rest of the Constructicons, before they head down to the bottom of the ocean in an effort to revive their fallen leader, Megatron. He then crops up again in the final battle, whilst an entirely separate version of the same character simultaneously merges with the rest of the team to form the menacing combined mode of Devastator. What's really exciting about Devil Savior's take is of course that we're heading towards that combined mode too, which looks to be quite the thing indeed. Let's see how they get on with Smash today then. Last thing before we begin, today's video comes courtesy of TF Source, so you'll find a link to their site in the video description. The plan for today is to give you my first impressions before getting a full photo review up on their blog soon. Okay, and here we are with Devil Savior Smash, and I have to wonder just before we begin if the inspiration for this guy's third party name is just that he's kind of, you know, big, green, dare I say hulking? I don't know. Anyway, the box itself looks absolutely fine. It's actually a bit smaller than I might have anticipated. Uh, artwork on the front of the toy, or at least product photography, a uh, little bit grainy, I will say, a bit pixelated, so hey-ho. Now, before we get started with Smash, I just want to remind ourselves of uh, what we're up against here, because this guy is Split. He's the first in this series, and um, it was actually the second ever video review that I did on this channel. And now, I'm trying to think when it was exactly. The channel started in April, so uh, I think it may be late April, maybe even May, do you know what I mean? But really not that long ago, uh, needless to say. And um, <laughs> lots changed since then, but this uh, the memory of this guy has has stuck around, let's just say that. And I have done a, a pictorial review of him for TF Source's blog since as well, but just trying to pose this guy or get him to stand in any way is just its very, very difficult because it's just a bit of a mess, let's say that. Uh, this, re this review was done uh, before I did the whole toot and boot thing at the end, but it, needless to say, it would have been a boot. Unquestionably a boot, definitely. It's one of the... I, I, I don't want to say it's like an all-round write-off because the finish on it is really nice. Lots of potential positives to say about it, but just the execution is beyond poor, unfortunately, and the, the QC is just dreadful. So, a real shame. Uh, so I am hoping that um, the old Smash is going to get us back on track with this set. I did say at the end of the split review that I would be sticking with it and seeing it through because I'm just too intrigued about that combined mode, and fingers crossed Devil Savior have made some learnings from this guy because honestly, yeah. You get it. So yeah, fingers crossed with Smash today. A real shame with Split 2 in many ways is actually the figure looks beautiful, do you know what I mean? Really does, but just handles dreadfully. Right, well, the uh, the old clamshell here has come in uh, <laughs> upside down in the box. Well, here he is right out of the box and still looking you know, a little bit awkward, so needless to say, we'll have to, uh, to kind of pose him up and what have you in just a minute. Um, first impressions are twofold. Number one, very light contents in the box. Literally the toy and the instructions. That is it. No accessories that I can see. Uh, number two, he feels more solid than Split. That's what I will say right now. First impression, just literally handling him, getting him out of the box. It feels more solid. Fingers crossed. Right, well here he is, all adjusted up and in his robot mode, and uh, it's pretty easy actually. All you need to do is kind of obviously adjust the arms a little bit, and then these panels just kind of flip out to the side with the little missiles on them, uh, and then you just want to tab these little spring-looking pieces into his backpack, uh, and make sure that doesn't all come untabbed. Uh, it's actually easier said than done. Um, <laughs> initially I was like, oh they just tab in there, but actually there's a, a little bit of jimmying required to, to, to make it happen. Um, but yeah, first impressions so far, as I say, does definitely feel more solid than Split. The plastic quality, I'm still kind of making my mind up on, so we'll talk about that maybe as we go through. I don't want to tempt fate, but it does, it feels better, do you know what I mean, so far. I don't want to say it feels um, 
top notch, but it, it definitely feels a bit better. Okay, a couple of other things I've just noticed right off the bat. Firstly is his size, which is not nearly as big as I thought it might be. I mean, I, I know I already said about the box being a bit smaller, but really the toy is, yeah, I mean, it's it's not large. You know what I mean, we'll do some comparisons in a minute, but uh, honestly, I was kind of expecting this kind of big hulking thing, as I say, and it, he's not really. He's, uh, I don't want to say he's a wee lad, but he's, uh, he's certainly not uh, the, the brute that you might be imagining. Do you know what I mean? Um, the other thing uh, to say is that actually, although he is predominantly green, he is super detailed as well. I mean, just in the sculpt and, um, you know, whatever else, there, there is a lot of detailing going on in here. So we'll do some close-ups uh, and take a look at him in detail. But uh, yeah, it really is quite something to behold, actually. It does look really nice. Um, number three, is it three? I'm not really keeping count. The joints are very tight as well, uh, particularly in the arms around here and the shoulders, but also in the legs. Uh, just the whole thing actually just feels very, very solid. So that alone, uh, maybe even like a little bit too solid, but I'm not going to complain, honestly, because that alone is way better than what we had on Split. So that alone, the fact that he can stand, right? Like, it, look, it's, I mean, he does have, okay, he does wobble. <laughs> I was still about to say, look, he's not going to go over. He does wobble like a bit, I'm not going to lie. But um, he can stand solidly enough. Just get him in the right position and, and you're golden, do you know what I mean? And uh, that alone is, is way better than Split. I, I've already posed him. And that's just something that I, I struggled with immensely on Split. So we're on to a winner, maybe. In terms of the face sculpt, well, it's, it's quite the thing, needless to say. But um, I really like it. You kind of have to look up close to fully appreciate it. But the little red eyes uh, look really quite menacing. They are tiny, really, really tiny. Uh, and then there's, you know, a lot of detail in the, the sculpt and the paintwork and everything. It, it looks pretty good. Now, just coming up to the little backpack area above the head just there, you can see those little red dots look really, really quite nice. Uh, very small, actually. I know I'm kind of zooming in on them here, but they really are tiny. And there is a kind of weathering going on, I think, as well in certain areas. So that looks kind of cool too. And then just above that, you've got those little kind of yellow coiled springs. Um, and they look nice. The yellow is not so saturated. I don't know if that's by design to kind of make it look a little bit dirty and grimy uh, or if it's actually just kind of, you know, they could have done with adding like another layer of paint on there. It certainly doesn't look bad. It's just kind of, you know, it, it looks a little bit kind of maybe a touch unfinished. It's okay. Now the big old wheels on his backpack do look really, really cool. Like the kind of, again, the worn effect that's going on with those. That's ace. And just coming down to below the head on the chest area, this looks excellent. It's got this kind of circular thing going on with the red paint in there. That looks really nice. Uh, again, the green has got kind of a wash to it that kind of makes it look a bit grubby and grimy and whatever else. And um, really like the, the molded detail on here as well. That's superb. Same story on the crotch and the legs. I mean, you've got lots of little silver paint applications going on all over the place. One thing I think Devil Saviour are doing really nicely is picking out all those bits of molded detail with silver highlights. And I, and I, you know, it was the same on Split. They really went to town in it with the paint and that certainly is appreciated. It pays off here too. I mean, you see that a lot on areas such as the legs as well. I mean, again, with these tires, that looks great. The little kneecap bits here, uh, that's all ace, all that little detail there. These little, uh, you know, bits here, all cast in silver. Uh, or painted in silver rather and then you know you've got little tampos and things just there as well it's quite you know it's quite a visual treat really now there's also some uh, lots of paint on areas such as this which is the little missiles on the sides of his arms uh, you can see with the stripes now it is very crisply applied again it's kind of similar to that yellow where um you know it maybe looks slightly under applied that's the only thing with the white um but again i'm kind of wondering you know if that's just by design to make it look a bit grubby i I don't know, I can't really decide if uh, if it works well or not, but um, yeah, it certainly doesn't look bad. So yeah, purely from a visual perspective, stunning. Really, really stunning. Like, a, you know, not perfect, I guess? I mean, like, no, uh, do you know what? I'm going to take that back. Uh, even like little bits like the yellow paint or whatever else, I'm not going to nitpick it because frankly, this guy just looks gorgeous. If all of, the, uh, all of my toys in my collection looked as nice as this, I'd be a happy man, let's be fair. Now in terms of articulation, the head uh, has got quite a, a free range of motion actually. The only thing is, is that it's slightly impeded by, you know, all the stuff going on around him. So, I mean, he can look left to right quite nicely. He can look down pretty well as well, and he can look up. The only thing is, is that the head has a tendency to kind of slide backwards into uh, the sort of backpack area. So you have to kind of fish it out occasionally. Now the shoulders, as I already mentioned, are very stiff indeed. Uh, they go all the way around. I mean, it's all kind of a bit impeded by the stuff uh, hanging off him, but still. Uh, and then just 
well actually they will untab slightly if you want them to uh, for a bit of a kind of butterfly esque motion on the uh, the old shoulders and then you can see there they are ratcheted at the shoulder and that's whoa, quite the click dig that now as for the rest of the arms there is a bicep swivel first of all and then the arms are on a hinge at the elbows very stiff again it's almost like these guys heard the complaints about split and just went to town on it do you know what i mean um and then at the wrist you get um you get a, a decent wrist swivel just there and actually a hinge as well which i presume is for transformation and then no articulation in the hands themselves there is a waist swivel but it's impeded by this backpack so you can just move the backpack up slightly out the way and then yeah, fairly decent waist swivel, all told. And then as far as the legs go, at the hips you get, I think in theory, quite a decent range of motion, but you just need to move this piece out of the way. So, um, and then actually, yeah, look, it goes all the way up. I mean, that's quite impressive, if anything. So, you know, there is the motion there, as long as you're willing to kind of move stuff, kibble and bits and bobs like that. Uh, and then at the knee, whoa, stiff again, uh, goes to about 90 degrees. Uh, and then, I mean, that piece moves as well if that gives you anything, I don't know. And then there is a, a foot tilt, an ankle tilt as well, which all amounts to quite a bit, actually. I, I think um, this guy's way more articulated than I fully had expected him to be, if anything. And uh, as I said earlier, he holds a pose. So that alone, I think your quid's in, really, with uh, with this guy versus Split. I do feel already, just handling him, that it, it feels like Devil Saviour have listened to some of that feedback. As I said, if anything, they've gone overboard with, <laughs> with the old joints because they are super stiff. But that is not me complaining because if he can hold a pose, he does it stably, I I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? That's really, really good on, on their part. Even stuff like little an outward ankle tilt as well really helps with posing. Uh, and as I said earlier, if you're happy to kind of move kibble out of the way, there's quite a lot going on here. Case in point, here he is rocking a run. Now, if you'd have told me when I was doing split, that their follow-up figure was going to be able to do a, a run standing on one leg i don't think i would have believed it honestly um because i mean it's you know it's not just a fluke he really does hold that pose quite stably uh it's good do you know what i mean really really good i'm impressed and having messed around with him a bit now i can honestly say that the plastic does indeed feel a lot better than on split as well uh, i mean he's not i don't know he's not the most robust thing like as in I could sort of see that if you're not careful, things may break. He does have like a slight feeling of fragility to him. Certainly so far, I mean, I'm talking about bits like these little pieces here, hanging off, what have you, these bits here. I guess there's just a lot of stuff that does kind of bump into each other as you're moving him around, you know, a lot of kibbly bits. So those that's the stuff that you might want to be careful with, I guess. But that said, he does feel better. I'm happy so far, but I guess let's see what transformation uh, brings, shall we, as well. Right, well, it's time to do a few comparisons and we'll start with some official movie masterpiece toys. And here is Megatron. So this is the 2007 version, obviously. And uh, although these two characters, well, these two designs don't meet on screen, you can see how they scale up there. Very nice indeed. Of course, if you want the Revenge of the Fallen version, which is the one that goes with old long haul here, uh, then here is TF Dream Factory God 11, I think it is. And uh, this is their take on, yeah, as I say, a, a Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Uh, it's a little bit um, smaller than the, uh, the official 2007 version. And you can see how they scale up there. I don't know, it, it is a weird one with long haul. Is he tall enough? I don't know, I'll leave it up to you to decide ultimately. I've kind of, I'm not sure if he's big enough for me. I kind of feel like maybe he should be a bit more hulking than that, but uh, still you can see how they, they shape up there. Now we'll stick with our Decepticons for now. And uh, of course this guy appears in Revenge of the Fallen as well. This is movie masterpiece Starscream. Again, the official toy MPM 10. Uh, really like this one, just reviewed it recently on the channel. So you can find that one up in the old list as well. Uh, and there you can see how these two scale together there. And here's an unofficial bot for you, but again, someone that appears in Revenge of the Fallen. This is Blackout. This is actually the uh, Wei Jiang uh, oversized uh, version of the studio series uh, toy. And uh, absolutely, well, it's a beast of a thing. What can I say? Absolutely massive. And you can see uh, just how big he is versus Smash just there. And then here is another oversized fella. This is Black Mamba's Brawl. Uh, of course, this guy only appears in the 2007 film, uh, but there you go. You can see them together. Again, this is an oversized version of a Studio Series original design, a uh, lot larger than Smash. And then another 2007 bot. This is Bone Crusher 
represented by, again, TF Dream Factory. This is their Bone Crusher. Uh, and actually, this is an original design, not uh, an oversized uh, version or whatever else. It is third party. So just in case anybody's wondering. And then here's another one I reviewed on the channel recently. This is New Age Mister, which of course is their take on a Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Of course, Soundwave does appear in Revenge of the Fallen as well, but he just kind of hangs around in space. You never really get to see him do anything. Uh, and then here is the little laser beak. Uh, that goes with him. That's a very cool little thing. Do check out that video if you've not seen it. Uh, if you have seen it, you'll know that at the time I was missing a Ravage. Well, I'm pleased to report here he is. I've managed to acquire one since uh, recording that video. Uh, and you can see he does appear Ravage in Revenge of the Fallen as well. So you can see how that all shapes up there. And then another of the smaller guys, this is Movie Masterpiece Barricade. Again, the official toy. Uh, you know, not uh, not the biggest, certainly, in, in, terms of, in terms of this lineup anyway. But um, he's not actually that small. I mean, he's still bigger than like a, a Generation 1 car bot overall, but uh, a little bit anyway. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, it's, yeah, not as big as old Smash there. Smash finally gets the height advantage in this one. Of course, no toy is as big as this old fella. This is... Zeus Toys Shockwave, which again is a, another oversized version of the Studio Series mold. Uh, again, I've done a review of this guy on the channel, so you will find that there. Absolute beast. <laughs> what can I say? Just look at that thing. Ridiculous. Well, we've done plenty of Decepticons, let's do some Autobots. And here, of course, is Movie Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Uh, this is the official toy, again, not a KO of any kind. Sometimes it's hard to tell in different people's videos, I struggle a bit. But um, yeah, this is the, the sort of regular size MPM toy. Uh, you can see he's, yeah, still a bit bigger than old uh, Smash there, but uh, looks pretty good to my eye. Then, of course, we've got Ironhide, and this is the official toy again, uh, although my copy has had a bit of an upgrade. Thank you to DNA Designs, which makes all the difference in terms of the uh, shoulders and what have you on this guy. But there you can see how they uh, look together there. Next, let's bring in the one that started it all, arguably. This is Bumblebee. My copy has very weak ankles these days. It struggles to stand up properly, but uh, there you go. Can't wait for Ratchet as well. Still don't have him in hand, but he should hopefully be here before too long. Now, here's another Revenge of the Fallen laddie. This is uh, Black Mamba's oversized version of Studio Series Jetfire. Uh, an absolute massive thing that it is. Really love it though. Honestly, very pretty toy. Is he an Autobot or a Decepticon though? You decide. And of course, that all brings us to this guy, Split. Which, uh, let's see if we can get him to stand next to his comrade, shall we? Can we do it? Can we do it? No. Right, well, all joking aside, here are these two together. I have managed to get split to stand just about. Still, man, honestly, blow on this thing and it's going to topple. That's all I'll say. Just, uh, phew, I've got a kind of feeling that uh, once this set is complete and I've done all the comparisons in robot mode that I need to do, I'm basically going to be jamming him into the kind of head mode for combined form and just leaving him there, I <laughs> think. Uh, and it is good to see that actually Smash is a significant upgrade in terms of stability, quality, everything. Do you know what I mean? I, as I mentioned earlier, I said at the end of my Split review, I really hope that Devil Saviour takes some learnings from Split and, and come back strong, you know? And then, based on what I've seen so far, it feels like they've managed it. Uh, one thing I will say is that these two do look really nice together. You just got to get Split to stand first. Anyway, it's good to see that Devil Saviour seem to be getting this project on track. And of course, the ultimate test of that today is going to be transformation. So let's give it a go. Oh dear.
Windows transformation done and yeah, you know what, on the whole, not too bad. Not too bad on the whole, that's what I'll say. A um, couple of arduous bits, a couple of bits where you're like, ooh, in terms of clearance or whatever else, but uh, it, it comes together quite nicely, I will say, and it tabs together pretty well as well. Uh, unfortunately, I did have a little bit of damage along the way. I'm sure you noticed halfway through the old transformation there that this piece has broken off. So again, Oh dear, it's a bit of breakage on a Devil Savior product. That's a, a, sh a real shame. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, obviously the split uh, toy broke on me on camera as well. This one, no different. But I do think, at least in this case, that there may have been a bit of user error going on because I didn't have this piece um, that the foot goes underneath this sort of uh, kind of cab section just here. Uh, and, I, and I don't think I had it aligned just properly. So when I pressed down, the sort of armature that's just inside here snapped off. So rather unfortunate. <sighs> is it my fault? I don't know. But certainly that piece is very thin and uh, probably could have done with being die cast. I think in, in any other design, die cast would have been uh, you know a way to go. Uh, but um, sadly not the case here. Now in the interests of uh, being thorough, it's this little piece here. If I sort of pull this back section up, you can just about see it in there where the brake is, uh, that little arm, and it connects this whole kind of cab section uh, just there. But as I say, very thin bit of plastic that realistically could have done with either being thicker or being die cast. So it is disappointing. And I say that honestly because Really, I actually quite like this thing on the whole. I do think that the uh, the transformation is pretty good. Everything tabs together very solidly. Uh, you know, it, it's a bit of a fiddle in parts, but it's not so bad. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's no, nothing compared to Split, honestly. It's like a, a different world in that regard. Uh, and you know, there's, there's precious little kibble here, just a bit at the back with this arm. Um, but otherwise, you know, even bits like under here, that all looks good to my eye. I think it, it cleans up pretty nice. Uh, you know, again, from the back, you can see the arms. Uh, just kind of sticking out the back just here, but um, you know really it's it's very tidy very very tidy on the whole uh, And I think it's it's pretty nice I'm not much of a fan of how these panels all tab together though uh, Just because there's a little tab inside here and then one there as well and, and these panels move So trying to get it all lined up together just so so that you can tab it in at the sides That is a faff on the whole though the process is really not so bad and actually the result looks very nice indeed as i said it's, it's very tidy on the whole bar a little bit of kibble uh, i'm not sure how accurate it is to the films i think it might be slightly truncated at the back here you know certainly having looked at a couple of clips from the film it feels like the the truck the actual truck might be a, bit, a little bit longer but um you know what it looks good and as with split one of the real strengths of this toy is the detailing and the kind of painted finish because it looks spectacular i mean look at this <laughs> this kind of detail just here the little lights it's got this kind of weathering going on as well uh, of course just at the side here you've got uh, an attempt at a real world logo given a, a slight misspelling uh, you know in the old tradition of uh, stuff like uh, what was it goof year and things like that goo year and all the various mirage misspellings that we've seen over the years and again just some lovely paintwork going on on the tires other areas here all these little pistons it just looks fabulous really love the molded detail on areas such as this uh, these little guardrails and things in, in front of the cab i just think that looks uh, looks spectacular you know again with the little molded tiny little molded detail actually on this grill section just here i mean that's the kind of thing that a lot of companies would have just left smooth i think but uh, Devil Savior, to their credit, have gone to town on it. And coming up to the top, it's when you get really into the detail of this thing that you see how nice the uh, the kind of weathering is. You know, again, it's got this kind of scratchy paint effect on a lot of the roof and places like that that, you know, really does look good. So, you know, I have to acknowledge that having the thing break on me on camera isn't exactly the best indictment for this toy and, you know, Devil Savior as a whole, given the, their sort of history with the previous figure in this set. But actually, I'm feeling pretty good about this guy so far. I'm, I am willing to kind of forgive that little break. I, yeah, it's definitely something that I would be super careful about in the future. It's still not good, do you know what I mean? Like it is, uh, it is a fail in, in, in many respects and you know, you can't have figures breaking on you ultimately. But I don't know, I, I'm kind of feeling a little bit generous just because of how significantly improved this guy feels from the previous effort, do you know what I mean? They're, if anything, they're, they're clearly making an effort here and that's to their credit. Is that me being an apologist? I don't think so anyway. I, I genuinely do try to think in my mind sometimes, am I kind of making excuses for this thing? Uh, you know, w would I be more harsh if this was, I don't know, fans toys or someone that we knew could do much better? Um, because realistically, by a lot of standards, a lot of third party standards, you know, it's just not good enough to have stuff breaking. And yet I still do feel this sense of goodwill here for some reason. I, I'm trying to process why that is. I think I'm just so, 
you know, desperately want this project to be good as a total thing that I'm willing to look past a few little quibbles along the way. And I think it's also the fact that, you know, Split was, let's be fair, such a disaster in so many ways that actually just by comparison, this thing is, is golden in that respect. So I don't know, I don't feel like I'm being an apologist anyway in that regard. I, ultimately, you know, it's still not good to have the thing break. I, I guess it kind of happened and I kind of went, eh, okay. Now, one thing you need to do for transformation is remove the missiles from his robot mode arms, but they do actually reattach, he says, on the back here. They're quite tight into these peg holes. Very tight indeed, but they should. Oof a bit of force yeah quite a lot of force there we go okay that didn't feel good okay that one's so that's weird that one's got in really solidly now i feel like that's gonna be a pain to get out yeah no i'm not gonna press harder on that one now because this one's gone right in you can sort of see underneath there that it's uh, it's almost kind of i think it's meant to do that but man just don't have peg holes like that i, I will say actually these bits when they peg in in robot mode, trying to get them unpegged again for transformation was a mare, beyond belief. Absolute mare. I actually missed that bit on camera just because I had to force it so hard. So, I mean, just don't have peg holes like that. Just have normal peg holes. <laughs> anyway, on the whole, I'm digging this vehicle mode. It's not the biggest thing, though, I will say. And uh, kind of continuing the theme from the robot mode, he does feel maybe a little bit undersized. I mean, here he is with MPM Jazz, which is a, a small toy, actually, on the whole. Do you know what I mean? And the, this thing... Uh, certainly would be a lot bigger in kind of realistic scale. So depends how you feel about that. Anyway, just because I'm a glutton for punishment, let's do transformation two into leg mode. I'll say this after all of that i was probably wanting to be a little bit more blown away by the end result than i am now all joking aside i mean it's a foot isn't it let's be honest it's a foot what can you do uh you know it looks basically as i expected that it would 
Uh, but yeah, anyway, the uh, transformation was more difficult this time than getting to vehicle mode, I, I will be honest. A uh, couple of bits that are quite confounding. Uh, instructions actually, to be fair, do a pretty good job. And uh, actually, for the most part, kind of, you know, are, are fairly legible and kind of easy to follow. But uh, it's just that there's a couple of panels that, that really do you know, take quite a bit of, of doing, let's say. And at this point, I'm beginning to think that whilst this guy is a, uh, a step up uh -huh, uh, on uh, on Split, you know, still there are some flaws here with the with the materials being used. As I've already mentioned, you know, several parts inside the mechanisms, whatever else, that they should be die cast. This thing should have way, way more die cast, not from a you know, oh, it's nice to have die cast because it's hefty kind of perspective. But just from an engineering, you know, there are there are lots of little bits of plastic inside that require contortion uh, of, you know, various kinds that I just don't know if long term they're going to be up to the job. It is a concern for me, I've got to be honest. That said, most stuff does tab together very, very well, and it's quite solid feeling as a result. I mean, there's a couple of bits that I obviously missed uh, halfway through, such as these little bits here, these little pistons that kind of pop out from the side. Just completely missed that in the instructions. It is there, um, I just missed it. So I had to kind of go back and correct that. But you know, on the whole, everything does tab together well. The one bit I can't get is this bit at the front, these two panels. I have tried. Do you know what I mean? I, I've actually had to, to transform this whole top section uh, a second time because I, I obviously kind of not got things quite the right orientation and whatever else. So there's a lot of kind of just making sure that everything is just so. It's not the most forgiving, like it, it does want you to have everything precisely placed. But when you get it like that, actually it clips together very nicely. You know, and on the whole, I have to say it's still better than Split, you know, and it's really just because of how it all tabs together. And, and, you know, I remember transforming Split and that being the most frustrating thing for me was, you know, not the complexity overall, I don't mind complexity, it's just when stuff doesn't tab, when it's complex and then it doesn't tab, that's the worst in my book. Because, like, at least if things go solidly together, you know, it's, it's kind of satisfying in a way. Like, you can sit and take your time with it and, you know, whatever else, and all right, it can be maybe a little bit arduous at times, but still the end result it feels satisfying somehow. Split, no. It was just <laughs> refused to kind of sit solidly at all. Uh, and, and this, uh, you know, as a result, is better. So here we go then. We've got a foot. And indeed, we've got a head as well with Split. So now I'm not going to do comparisons with Split today because believe me, I'm not going to be transforming that thing again until I have to when they go into combined mode. Uh, but for now, at least you can see them with Bumblebee. Uh, and I think in conclusion, you know what, this thing is definitely uh, definitely an improvement on Split, as I've already kind of indicated. Some concerns still with quality, and I think if that is something that you are nervous about, maybe maybe don't take the risk, do you know what I mean, if I'm being completely honest. For me, I'm still in on this set, and I still see it through. I think they definitely should have loaded this thing with more die cast, but I do acknowledge the significant improvements that have been made already since the first member of this set. And so in that regard, I'm feeling generous. I'm going to give this guy a quiet and maybe tentative, but still somewhat deserved toot. So that's the latest effort from Devil Savior. Absolutely smashing. Now I'll put a link to TF Source's listing for this guy in the video description, and I'll be able to get the full photo review up on their blog soon. Otherwise, that's it from me. So don't forget to drop me a like if you enjoyed today's video, and have a great rest of your day. TTFN. TTFN.